Hello fire signs and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, welcome to those of you new, just tuning in. This is going to be a love and romance horoscope for uh, all of you uh, fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries for the month of October 2020. Um, however, all my readings are meant to be timeless. So if you happen to catch this reading outside of that timeline and it resonates with you fire signs, then it means that it was meant for you to hear at that time. Okay. Um, since it is general, it's not going to resonate with every fire sign out there. So please keep that in mind. If you start to feel confused or anything, um, I do offer a personal reading. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below. <clears throat> below the video description where it says show more as well as all the decks I'm using here today all the items you see except for any of the Halloween items uh, my Instagram information and um, the candles are also listed below I am using the mystery house candle for you fire signs Leo Sagittarius and Aries and all the horoscopes um, for the month of October 2020 and asking spirit to um, help with manifesting whatever it is that you're wanting when it comes to love, whether that is to return to a past love, uh, a new love, or if you're just wanting to take some time out to heal, whatever that you're trying to, you know, achieve, I'm asking a spirit uh, to bring it forward at this time. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If you happen to hear me say he or she, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So divine masculine or divine feminine can be male or female. Uh, just take it how it applies in your situation. Okay. So this is the psychic tarot for the heart. I'm gonna get two cards here. The energy surrounding you fire signs. So we have to listen. So this is the high priestess energy. So this is an energy around you where you're either following your intuition, you're observing, you're listening, you may be receiving telepathic uh, information as to what you should do. Okay, you may be listening for that or a spirit is uh, telling you to do this um, with the number two. This could have to do with a partnership um, as well. Okay, and then another here is. So there's two twos. <laughs> so you guys might see twos as confirmations um, if this reading uh, resonates with you. This is a sacral chakra energy. This is about passion. This is about things being ignited. This is sexuality, creativity, uh, you know, all, all anything that is passionate that drives you uh, passionately. But this is uh, being activated and you are listening to this energy, okay? Or the person around you is um, listening to this energy and feeling it, okay? Some of you might be feeling it through the 5D um, as well. All right. So this is the Island Time Wellness of Oracle Cards, Fire Signs. Um, this is the energy you're in during this period. And we have soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. So you're either you're looking for your soulmate, um, you're, you know, someone that maybe you feel that has, you have a soul contract with, you know, could be a twin flame energy or some type of agreement or partnership. We do have these uh, twos here. Okay. Also, um, those twos equal four. So it could have to do with foundations, union, uh, things of that nature. But you're in this energy of a soul, you know, soulmate that you are looking for your soulmate or you identify with a soul connection. So let's go ahead and get um, the energy of your person. Sag I was going to say Sag I don't know why I said Sagittarius. Maybe that had to do with Sagittarius. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get the energy uh, fire signs of your person uh, towards you. So we have photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, uh, make new memories. So your person is looking at you. Um, they are um, probably maybe they're fantasizing about you. This could be coming through the uh, 3D energy as well. This could be igniting a new type of passion uh, towards you, towards the connection. But they're looking at your photos, okay? And they're thinking about making um, some type of uh, new memories with you. All right. So this is my mystery house deck. This is my uh, latest deck. It 
goes with that candle too for some of you that's interested this is available if you live in the united states on my site um, or my uh, etsy shop but if you're international interested in any of my decks uh, please send me an email below and i will send you the link to order so let's go ahead and see what took place between you and your person and the past fire signs so we have contests competition fighting so there was either some type of uh, competition involved or some type of fighting um, in the past, I will clarify this energy. This could be other people, you know, or just some very competitive uh, energy. And then what's going on in your current situation in the present fire signs? So we have hollow, a commitment, divine a divine union okay so in your current situation you could be in a commitment you could be in some type of contract or divine union or you could be wanting to come in to union so i will be clarifying these energies to see why they're there and then let's go ahead and get um who or what is coming towards you fire signs during this period so we have zombie maze confusion disoriented so Either someone is coming uh, towards you that could be confused and disoriented about the situation, or maybe you're confused as to who is coming uh, towards you, okay? So let's go ahead and see, um, how does your person currently see you, fire signs? So we have blood sucker, energy vampire draining leech. I don't mean to laugh at that, but it just, I don't know, things make me laugh. <laughs> Certain things make me laugh when I say it. Um, they could be seeing you as either draining their, uh, their energy, you know, maybe through the 5d, uh, their passion or, you know, something that's very draining, like, you know, maybe you have a hold on them or vice versa, but this is the energy of how they are seeing you. And then, um, what do they currently want from you? Fire signs. So we have black light stood up, no show. So either, they um, this is like a sense of abandonment so either they're wanting um, some action taken uh, towards this or maybe they're not wanting to do anything at this time but we'll see why that's there and then um, I'm just gonna move these over a little bit okay and then um, what action might they take towards you fire signs during this period of October 2020 so we have headstone so a name date reminder so they might put something in stone, you know, may, may, might be something solid or they might address something that was might have come to an ending um, re, regarding either a name, a date or some type of reminder. So we'll have to see why that's there. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify or get more information and clarify. Yeah, clarify. <laughs> I don't know why I'm down myself here. Um, this is the witch's uh, tarot. Let's go ahead and clarify what took place between you and your person in the past. Why is this contest here? What was this competition or this fighting? The queen of wands. Okay. Hmm. So the Queen of Wands is somebody that is um, very passionate, okay? So this could be your energy. Um, any of you guys, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, um, this is about taking action. This is somebody that's very uh, passionate uh, energy. Um, somebody could have hid from the uh, passion um, as well with that um, High Priestess energy there. But there is some type of fighting that took place in the past now with this queen of wands energy um this could involve a karmic energy um as well there could have been some uh, like you know jealousy some type of bitterness maybe some type of you know uh words that you know took place um that you know people might have just said out of you know that the fact that they were fighting so this could have sparked a lot of things um with this contest here this competition um fighting so let's go ahead and get another card for why that might be there. This is my situations deck. This is also available below. Let's get another card for what took place in the past with fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries in the past. Okay, I just want one card. How many is this? Okay, no, it's three. I'm gonna put it back. 
If it's two, I was going to try to take it. But um, what took place between fire signs in the past, between them and their person? So we have grip, anchor, chains, way down. All right, so there was some kind of uh, energy when I'm getting here that somebody was... Um, way down with this energy um some type of i feel like whatever took place whatever type of fighting some type of arguments or some jealousy uh, could have involved other people if um this i was new this could be your person or like i said it comes up sometimes for me for karmic energy somebody was weighed down um, by this um because there could have been like another person involved in a situation or just some type of jealous um, behavior. So um, if this isn't uh, resonating with you, this uh, may not be your reading. This could be a specific message. So we'll go ahead and just keep going to see what's going on in the present situation. Why is hollow here? What is this commitment, this divine union? So we have a page of swords, okay? So the Page of Swords is about communication, but it can be delayed communication. Um, this is also watching, okay, investigating, trying to gather information, okay? So you and your person, uh, either or, or the both of you could be watching, or there could be um, some delayed uh, uh, communication while someone is investigating a situation. The, page, the, page are, the pages are about news. Um, also, there could be, you know, some immaturity involved or sometimes the page is about a child. So some of you could be dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. So let's get another card for what's taking place in the present with you and your person fire signs. So we have lockdown, mental prison, confined. OK, so. Someone in a present situation may be in a commitment or a union that's re, um, giving them a lot of like mental conflict. OK, like they're in a mental prison, they feel in confined, they're feeling trapped. Um, this also could be some could be going through this energy because there may not be any communication. There's delay to this union coming to place and it could be causing a lot of conflict. Um, a lot of mental energy uh, surrounding this commitment. Okay. So for some of you, if you guys are in a contract, this could be going on with you. And then others just could be about because things have been delayed. Um, this is causing a lot of mental uh, conflict. Okay. So let's go ahead and see why the zombie maze is here for who or what is coming towards you. Fire signs. What is this confusion? What is this disoriented? Four cups. Okay, so this is water energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So there could be some confusion. Um, the person that could be coming towards you could be confused of whether or not they maybe they missed out on an opportunity, or this could be just about um, a confusion, a disoriented that may be taking place on either person of whether anything is going to, um, you know, come out of the situation is what I'm getting. Because there's someone here, they're just kind of looking, they're looking at this person and they're just wondering if, are they going to miss out on this opportunity is what I'm getting. This can be about rejection. This can be about contemplation. So there is a lot of thoughts going on here. So someone could be thinking about the, the possibility that they may have missed out on an opportunity and, um, I'm feeling that they could be confused about that. Okay. But again, that is water energy. So it could have to do with the water sign. So let's get another energy for who or what is coming towards you. Fire signs during this period. So we have denial. Okay. Not facing the truth. Irrational reasoning. So someone that could be coming uh, towards you is uh, somebody that could have been in denial. Uh, in the past, not facing the truth, irrational reasoning, um, somebody maybe that caused a lot of confusion, um, 
maybe left you disoriented or the both of you disoriented. And now they could be feeling like maybe they missed out on the opportunity. Okay. Because of this denial. Of course, this could also be um, someone uh, denying this energy of this confusion and missing out on an opportunity. Okay, so it could be those two things. I'm just going to take a quick sip of water. <clears throat> okay, all right, so let's go to the blood sucker energy of how your person sees you. Okay. So why is the blood sucker here? What is this energy? Vampire, draining, leech. Okay, uh, King of Cups. So this is water energy. Um, again, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is an emotional uh, master. Okay, King of Cups is somebody that is um, can hide, you know, his emotions. Okay may not show it so it could have to do with this person over here um but they are very loving um they offer emotional fulfillment um as well and they could be someone that is um very romantic so they could be seeing you as i don't know i'm feeling like draining their energy okay this could be somebody, you know, they could be feeling like someone is draining their energy, draining them, their emotions is what I'm getting, draining them emotionally. All right, so let me get another car for how they might see you. Yeah, okay, synchronicities. So signs. 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, as you see, the two came up here, 3, 3, 3. Um, so they're getting some type of signs around this energy. Um, I'm getting like a couple of things, so I'm trying to like translate it. I do feel like they see you as draining them emotionally like to the point where they can't deny the feelings that they have for you because they are in this energy where they're looking at your photo and i'm missing you okay so i feel like you're draining you're draining them like you're way, uh wearing them down emotionally like you are emotionally draining them like you are attached to them um they they could also again this is how they see you but this is just how it's coming out for me. So it can go, you know, take it how it applies. This could, they could be seeing you as draining them or vice versa. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. All right. So let's go ahead and see what do they want from you, fire signs. Why is the black light here? What is this stood up no show here for as to what fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries person want from them? So we have the lovers here, okay? Um, this is twin flame energy. It could also have to do with, you know, soulmates. We have the soulmate card, or it could also have to do with a soulmate in a twin flame dynamic, okay? They could be either wanting you to address this energy of maybe you stood them up, but the lovers is about a very passionate energy, okay? Maybe they're wanting you, if you are involved in another situation where there's some competition, um, they're wanting you to either like not show up for that connection. That's what I'm getting. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, Gemini as well. There's a lot of air energy. Six is about balance. So it could be wanting things to be balanced. So let's go ahead and get another car for here. As to what they want. Pause. Timing factor. I'm kind of feel like I'm sensing like they don't want this pause, this timing factor here between the lovers. Like they, because the energy surrounding this uh, connection is a uh, passion and the sacral chakra and um, listening to this, this energy. 
you're in this energy of soulmate connection and they're missing you. So I'm feeling like they want to pause on this energy of this black light, this abandonment feeling. So I'm going to just get another card and see, clarify this as to what they want. Why are these cards here? Camera. So reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. Yeah, so I feel like they want to, you know, um, because we have this keepsake and they are looking at you, looking at your photos. I feel like they want to put a pause on whatever took place between the two of you, this silence, this abandonment, and learn from the situation and make memories, okay? Because we have here twice the reference to make new memories, make new memories. So they're wanting to make new memories with you, okay? That's what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and get, um, what action might they take towards you? Why is the headstone here? What is this name, this date, this reminder? So five of wands. So this is, um, again, conflict, competition. This is fighting. Um, they might take some action towards this fighting or if there's another person involved in here, because again, the five of wands could involve conflict. It could involve uh, eternal conflict, uh, internal conflict as well. This is fire energy. So this definitely could be you guys. Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So let's go ahead and see as to what action they might take. Cause there's like, there's like a rage in energy. So it feels like some, some type of fighting or conflict. All right. So let's go ahead. Um, fighting something to do with this name date and reminder. I'm going to get another card for what action might fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries person might take towards them through the month of October, 2020 negotiator. So bargaining, begging. So they may, they may make some attempt to negotiate when it comes to this connection. They might even beg. Something might be reminding them that this is what they need to do. They need to uh, negotiate something um, because of the fighting that took place in the past in order for this to change maybe negotiate regarding um, some type of conflict or, or, or whoever or whatever the situation of may, whoever might have came between the two of you guys. So let's go ahead and get another card here. You guys, energy is a little more challenging. There's a lot of conflict here, but there is a lot of passion um, ignited here too. So I feel like someone is very in their head about whatever took place in the past. They want to make new memories but they're having a hard time wondering if you're going to be in this energy of wanting to negotiate because of the conflict in the past. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Or competition, other people, or anything like that. That's what I'm getting. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and see what action might they take towards you, fire signs, during this period of October 2020. So we have Acts. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Okay, so it could be in any of this. This could be they might um, take, you know, uh, end a situation um, involving any kind of conflict or fighting. Or they may stop the pattern or the silent treatment, this abandonment. So we did have this abandonment energy here. So maybe they're going to put an end to this abandonment energy because they have learned from the past and they want to make new memories with you. So I feel like this is about stopping the pattern of this conflict or this competition um, with other people. They're going to put an end to uh, the pattern. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. All right. So I'm going to get three messages from your person, fire science, and this will tell me a little bit more about them. This is my twin flame messages. This is also available below.
and saying good things about you to my friends. So your person is talking um, to their friends about you. So they are missing you. So they are um, speaking about you to their friends. And then, um, you know, who knows what that is about. It could be about the conflict. It could be about the fighting that took place. It could be about the denial of, you know, of uh, the connection between the two of you. So let's go ahead and get two more cards. I'm sorry I'm not there for you now. So this is kind of like a um, confirmation that you guys are in some type of separation and your person could be in a conflict because of that, you know, that mental uh, prison because they're not there for you. So they are sorry that they're not there for you now. I love you more than I thought possible. Yeah, so your person really is missing you. They are talking to you, uh, talking about you to your other friends, and they're not there. Some could be involved with another uh, competition or conflict, a third party, um, which could be causing a lot of uh, conflict for them. But they do realize that they love you more than they thought possible. So they're wanting. I feel like they're wanting to put an end to any kind of conflict. Uh, maybe that took place in the past. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom of these cards. So we have three reach out. So this is, um, this could be significant. It also could indicate that there is a third party factor here, another person or another, um, factor, um, the conflict, but we have here reach out. Okay, so this is a three of pinnacles uh, uh, energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with um, earth signs um, as well, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus, but they may be wanting um, to reach out. You know, of course, this could be your energy, but this is about working together. So some of you guys, um, you know, could work together. I'm just going to move this up here. Sorry, I kind of messed that up a little bit. I just want to put these cards down so you can see them. All right, and then let's get the other cards on the bottom. So we have Drunken Goblin, Spilling the Tea, People's Business. So some of it, we do have, I'm saying good things about you to my friends. Okay, so this could be um, your person um, talking about this, or there could be some energy around this uh, conflict. Uh, where somebody might have talked about somebody, maybe they, you know, spilled the tea and they were talking about other people's business. But I feel like this is about them talking to their friends about um, making some type of action. OK, some of them could be having drinks um, as well. They could be talking amongst friends or they could be just because of the mental conflict that they're going through. They could be drinking. Yeah, so we have here the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So somebody was definitely dealing with somebody that was very self-absorbed in a one-sided relationship, um, you know, narcissist type of behavior, okay? So this could be maybe something that they want to work on, maybe something they want to fix, maybe they want to reach out, Um whatever energy, or, you know, whatever took place that they're being weighed down by from the past. So let's go ahead and get like a few more cards here. So we have obsession, must have indulgence. So there are some obsessive behaviors here. Um, this could have to do with this one-sided um, relationship. Um, the obsession could have been people. It could have been their ego. It could have been anything like this, but there is some energy around someone that dealt with some type of, of obsession or obsessive uh, behavior. So let me get another card. And then we have nine of cups. OK, so this is about wish fulfillment. Again, I feel like somebody with this spilling the tea and this nine of cups, somebody there could have been a drinking issue involved here as well. But somebody may now. They could be drinking or they're drinking through this period or having these drinks where they realize that maybe they have been selfish in this situation and now they maybe they want to reach out. Okay. We do have, again, um, water energy. So 
Someone is definitely having emotions. They're having a mental conflict. Um, but this is about wish, wish fulfillment as well. It also can be about a, a recognizing, you know, award and recognition. So somebody might be wanting to recognize the fact they could be talking with their friends about the fact that they want to um, reach out and talk to you and recognize the fact that um, they were uh, self-absorbed in the relationship or they were dealing with someone in that energy. So let's go ahead and get another card here. Yes, because they love everything about you. So this could be definitely them tell, telling people that they're um, obsessed with you. Maybe they were selfish. Um, but through this, they realize that they love everything ab ab about you. And now they want to reach out to you and possibly work together. Okay. This could also be friends helping them to reach out or and work on this, um, on this energy or this connection. Okay. All right, fire sign. So I hope that resonated with some of you guys. It was a little bit more complicated. So, <laughs> but there is this energy about listening and following uh, your intuition, passion, or this is your person. And you both are in a very positive energy, but there seems to be a lot of complications involved here or a lot of complication conflict with whoever this is of um, what they did in the past. And so now they're not sure of how things can go now. Okay. So that's really what I'm getting. So if this uh, resonated with you guys, uh, please like, comment, and share, and also subscribe if you're new. So I will, it's not going to be an extended to this uh, video. Uh, none of the elements will be extended versions. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. You guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.